My name is Ranganath Mukusuma. I'm one of the product managers here at Informatica Cloud Data Quality. I'm going to show you how to use Cloud Data Quality service to configure parser asset and use in a data integration mapping. Before we jump into the demo, let's take a look at an example input data set and the expected output data from the parsing. We can see that input data string contains phone, email, country information. Our aim is to parse out the phone number and country data from the input string. Let's start the demo. Okay, now let's see how to create a parsing logic. After you have logged into the Informatica Cloud, select data quality service style, and you'll be taken to the data quality homepage. From here, click new and select parse as a type. On the parse definition page, give a suitable name and a description, and also choose a location. Now navigate to the configuration tab, to add a parse sequence step, click on plus. And now I'm going to use regular expression logic to parse out the phone number. Click select regular expression and select OK. On the right, side, right hand side panel, click on custom type. Enter the regular expression that is used to parse out the phone number. For the output, just name. I'm going to give a phone as my output name. So now my parse logic for the phone number is ready. I'm going to add one more step to parse out the country name output using a dictionary logic. Select the dictionary that is having information about country name and country codes. I have a dictionary already created, so I'm selecting the dictionary. Give a output name as country. If you want to standardize your country output name, enable this replace matches with valid values and select a suitable column from your dictionary. Logic for phone and country is ready. Let's test it to see if it is working as expected. Uh, to test my logic, I'm going to import my test data using import option. Choose the file location and select it. I click OK to import. Your test data is loaded and select the runtime environment or secure agent and then click on test and wait for the results to come out. So now we can see phone and country information has been successfully passed out from the input string. And we can see that I've since I've selected step two, it passed out both phone and country for me. Had I selected step one, it would have only passed out phone number for me so that you have a flexibility in terms of debugging which step is working or not. So now we created a reusable parse asset and we tested it and seen it is working perfect. Now, now let me show you how to use this reusable asset in a data integration mapping. To do that, we need to navigate into the data integration service by clicking on the data integration service style. On the data integration homepage, click on new, select mappings, click on create. On the mapping canvas, source and target object has been created for you let me configure source and target. I have set source connection and object type and the source object, in this case, a flat file object. For the target, I have configured a flat file connection and a flat file object. Now it's a time to bring parser asset onto the canvas. To do, to do that, bring parser transformation. And we need to configure parser transformation and point to the parse asset and choose the reusable parts asset that we just created. We also need to do the field mapping to assign the input fields into the parts transformation. I'm choosing contact details from my source object as my input. Now, now let me run a preview of the output data to see if the parts logic is working perfect in the mapping. Click on the preview, run preview. 
to the secure agent and run preview. So my data preview has been successfully generated. As you can see, phone and country information has been successfully parsed out from the input data that we provided. So that concludes the demo. Thank you.